We announced uh, the NGP in January for a launch uh, later in the year for the holiday season um, for several reasons. One is that we certainly wanted to share the excitement with all of our PlayStation fans, uh, but at the same time we wanted to make sure that talking about the platform in an open manner with all of the publishing partners uh, around the world. And, and that's really to make sure that uh, you know, we are going to have a wide range of titles. It's really important for us that we start engaging in some real strategic discussions on software portfolio with as many developers and publishers as possible. And that's why we felt that it was important for those two reasons to make the announcement uh, now as opposed to, say, later in the year. You know, it's, it's very important for me, and certainly for NGP, that uh, we try to make it a, a product or a platform that is not just a platform that's developed by SCE, but philosophically a platform that is developed in collaboration with certainly uh, input from our own worldwide studios, but also from the third parties as well. Uh, we got a lot of good feedback. And at the same time, you know, as we were planning for uh, the announcement today here in Japan, uh, we went to some of our partners uh, and asked them if they would be willing to share the stage with us, talk about their uh, view on NGP, and perhaps also talk about some of the exciting initiatives that they would like to bring onto NGP. And uh, I think we got a lot of good feedback and uh, a lot of exciting uh, titles, like for example, especially in the States, you know, Activision talked about Call of Duty. That's a very big thing for, uh, for NGP. You know, having the dual thumbsticks probably played a strong role in, in, in what is going to be bringing uh, Call of Duty to the NGP. I think that, uh, you know, whether it's a home-based console like the PS2 or PS3, or a portable uh, console like the NGP that we announced today, it's very important that we have a very stable platform that is in for the long haul. And that means that we're providing a very compelling value to the consumer in that once they invest in our products, uh, it doesn't go by the wayside in two years or three years but they're able to really enjoy that particular console for a very long time. And it's my expectation that uh, you know, the NGP is going to have a similar sort of life, lifespan, if you will, uh, in the portable space as well. Let's talk about how this technology that's developed uh, within different groups of Sony, um, how it's brought together harmoniously into one product. We obviously do a lot of R&D work within Sony Computer Entertainment. Uh, we have a, a very dedicated and talented uh, group of people that really uh, wanted to push the envelope. Also look at the R&D prowess that Sony Corporation has and their heritage in bringing exciting new technology uh, in the, uh, the consumer electronics space. Uh, you know, that's a, a, another uh, resource that we certainly wanted to tap into. We worked very early to see you know, what kinds of technologies, what kinds of uh, you know, feature sets that they would be able to bring onto the NGP, which I think, you know, again, helped to provide a very compelling uh, product uh, with a lot of exciting features. It's, it's safe to say the PSP is the only handheld device that's ever challenged Nintendo's dominance in, in that arena. What is NGP, how is the position to go further? Well, I think one of the things that uh, we certainly want to try to accomplish with uh, NGP, match number one, the install base that we have on uh, PSP worldwide, but over and above that, try to go beyond that. The fact that uh, you know, we're working hand in hand uh, with the worldwide studios internally, but also with a lot of the third-party publishing partners already. That combined with some of the exciting features, uh, you know, whether it's leveraging the 3G networks um, or the front and back uh, panels, um, all the sensors that we've incorporated into NGP, that I think is a real strong combination to really once again uh, not only match the install base that we have for PSP, but certainly go beyond that as well.
PlayStation fans are, are really excited and, and there's a lot of questions they have and they're, they're very much looking forward to finding out those details so we hope to find out more uh, in the coming months and, and we look forward to uh, uh, the next MVP announcement. Absolutely, look forward to making those announcements but uh, I'm also very happy and very proud um, of the fact that uh, you know we were able to make the announcements today and I think a lot of people are excited and we certainly want to keep that excitement and momentum going uh, up until launch and certainly beyond that as well.